Hello and welcome to today's edition of Questions and Answers by Parker and Aspen. We wanted to do a little Q&A, just like casual, fun, sitting outside. Only you guys were here with us and you could see the pretty view. We're actually leaving today, so we're in our airport clothes. I tweeted and I asked you guys what questions you wanted us. First question is, what camera do you use to take pics for your vlog? I am going to be doing, actually next week, a video on my channel about all the camera equipment we use. We use the 1DX Mark II, and then mm -hmm. we've also just recently purchased the Canon 5D Mark IV. Both of them are really good. The 1DX Mark II is, we got it mostly for video, and it's really awesome. And then we decided to get the 5D Mark IV. We really don't need both, but it's actually super convenient just because of how much we shoot. Especially on this trip, it's really shown us how much we actually we don't need both, but how much we actually need both. Because if we have one camera on our stabilizer, it's just super hard to like switch back and forth. So it was a good investment for us to get both of them. Both of them are super awesome, but I only recommend the 1DX Mark II if you shoot video too. It is the more expensive one, but it is the better one. So I recommend that for video, but if you just want a really nice Nice photo camera the 5d mark IV is awesome next question are you planning to go to the philippines we actually had a ton of people this is like probably one of the most asked questions really and we're actually going there next month what is something you would tell your 15 year old self i would tell myself to just like be more relaxed and not worry about the stupid little small things like having the perfect hair when you go to school <laughs> and stuff like that you know I remember one time, I wasn't 15, I was in sixth grade. I don't know how old that is. My mom was out of town and she used to do my hair every day. And so my dad was like taking me. When you were 15? No, when I was in sixth grade. Oh. <laughs> and so I like didn't like doing my own hair and I literally would not go to school. Like I remember I had my hair in like a low bun down here, but it just looked really crappy. And my dad drove me to school and I refused to get out of the car. I was like, no, I'm not going because I hated my hair. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed looking back on that. And just knowing that high school like doesn't matter. Like once you graduate, I mean, people high always school, say that. It, it doesn't matter in the long run, but yeah. while you're in it, it exactly. matters and enjoy it and love it and experience it to the fullest. Like looking back, it was, it was, it was so one much of the best. How can you describe the Maldives? I think we've been saying it wrong. I think we've been saying Maldives and I think it's Maldives. Maldives. It is so pretty though. It's very tropical. The water is probably the bluest water I've ever seen. Bora Bora also has really blue water, but I would say that it's different. It's like a little bit yeah. lighter. The weather is like perfect the yeah. whole time. Yeah, it hasn't been too hot at all or too humid, which is nice. But it's been really fun. We stayed, right now we're at the Sun Sam Resort. Sun Siam, Sun Siam, Sun Siam. The Sun Siam Irifushi. We stay here, and this actually looks super different than the St. Regis where we stayed before. It's like more green, like the water was more green, not as bright, but here, I actually think this island is prettier, just like the actual surroundings. What has been your favorite part about your trip so far? I feel like we've just been really relaxed. Like we enjoy shooting photos and videos when we travel. It's like something, it gives us something to do. We don't really like to just like sit at the pool. Like I could maybe do that for like a couple hours one day. When we go on trips, we don't really like to just like sit around and hang out. We like to be doing stuff. So, but stuff can be really expensive. And so what we like to do is shoot videos and shoot photos. And I feel like shooting videos and photos pushes us to like actually go and do the yeah actually like get around. out of our room because so i do like to hang out in the room and have like relaxing time but overall we like to be out doing stuff sometimes even though we like it we choose to do it it can be stressful but this time's actually just been really fun like i feel like we just had a really good time yeah and we weren't too stressed out and we had like plenty of time to do everything we wanted to do could you see yourself living somewhere else in the future if so where this is something that we've actually like for since we've been married, we've talked about and debated on what we want to do because we have a job where we can literally live anywhere we want in the world. We've only lived in the same city that we grew up in, so we want to experience something new. In the beginning, she wanted to try Salt Lake, which is still in the same state we lived, and I just thought, you know, if we had this job where we can live anywhere in the world, why would we only move up to Salt Lake, which is in the same state, which we're very familiar with? So we don't even know. Like, Probably we want to just. California or New York. I don't know, but I'm definitely starting to like want to do that more because it's so limiting like 
living where we live, there's just not a lot of resources. And just to have the different experience of like living somewhere else. But I'm really cheap and I have a four bedroom house for like a good price <laughs> in Utah. And so I don't want to pay for a little apartment and pay like twice as much. You guys planning on going to Canada? We actually are. We're going to be in Banff. I don't know what month it is, either like August or September, somewhere around there. But I'm really excited. I've been wanting to go there for so long. The next question is, what is the nicest thing a subscriber has ever done for you? Pick this one because this cutest girl. I know who it is, but I'm scared of like accidentally saying the wrong name. So I don't want to say in case I say the wrong person, even though I'm like, I know who it is. But I think it was at Playlist Live. The subscriber gave me a jar um, and it had just like cute little notes in it. And it was so nice. It was like the nicest thing ever. What are some places within the US that you would like to see together? I really want to go to Portland and Seattle. Seattle. Big Sur. I want to do the whole Pacific Coast Highway. I want to road trip it. Aspen doesn't. I want to see Boston still. I want to go to Washington DC. Pretty cool. I want to go to New Orleans. I keep seeing pictures on Pinterest and it looks like really cool. Would you expand your store to more than just clothes? I actually really want to get into like home decor but just sim not like couches and stuff but like cute throw pillows, blankets, little like things you would put on a table like little decorative things. Hopefully within the next few months we start doing that. We'll obviously let you guys know if that happens. But we do want to expand. And like eventually, if we have a baby, I want to do baby clothes. But yeah, we have some ideas for things we want to do. Do you think you and Parker want any pets? Or do you think you'll stick to raising the plants for a while? Just the plants. <laughs> I think the plants for a little bit. It's hard because I like I want to get a dog in the future for sure. Aspen doesn't. I'm going to get a Evie dog. Evie makes me not want a dog. Evie but is crazy. the thing is, like, when you get a dog, you've got to be there to, like, train it. And yeah. I wouldn't want to leave my dog for someone else to train because I would want my dog to know that I'm the superior and I'm the like the one in charge, you know? Yeah. We're not home enough to be able to be around to train it. After having traveled to so many places in the world, would you rather live somewhere tropical or in a city? I'd rather live in a city. I feel like there's much more to do. Yeah, definitely. And I feel like it's easier to get to a city or from a city to a tropical place than to get like from a tropical place to a city. I don't know why. It's probably the same because you're like flying still. I actually read this question wrong when I favorited it, so it actually says something different than I thought, but it says, now that you have had time to think about it, would you rather have changed the destination of your wedding or not? I read this as, do you wish you had a destination wedding? We'll answer that. <laughs> But I actually don't. We kind of, like, after we got married, kind of were, even though our wedding was, like, great and awesome, we kind of were like, oh, because I wanted to do a destination wedding, and Parker was like, no, I don't really want to. And then after, we were like, oh, that would have actually been fun. So I don't wish that we had a destination wedding because none of our friends, like, we're young. Our friends can't pay to go to, like, somewhere crazy. And I would have wanted to do it somewhere cool, like Bora yeah. Bora or something like that so none of our friends would have been there and maybe some family like only close family would probably only be there. like our immediate family and like maybe some grandparents i do wish we had been engaged for longer since we thought our house was going to be done and i really didn't want to live alone and parker didn't want to move in with me before we got married we were only engaged for like two months but i do wish we've been engaged for like six months and i wish i would have been more involved in the wedding planning i do not like attention and i didn't really want to spend a lot of money i didn't really care what it looked like and it was like perfect and beautiful and i wouldn't have changed the actual wedding but I just wish I had been more involved like my mom planned a lot of it because it just was like too stressful for me And so I wish I'd been more involved in that and I wish I'd been engaged for longer just to actually enjoy the period of like being engaged I wish that we would have done like a line we didn't do a line where like you stand and like let everyone come through and see you I wish we would have done that because there's so many people at our wedding that we didn't see so I'm yeah, sorry that we I didn't, didn't want to see talk you, to people but... so we didn't do one <laughs> those are all of our questions hope you guys enjoyed today's Q&A we are heading to LA we actually have an overnight layover in Qatar which is gonna be really cool it's gonna be nighttime when we get there and we're actually staying like in the airport hotel so I don't know if there's gonna be like a view of the city or anything but I've heard Qatar is really cool so I'm excited to see but then we head to LA and we have my pixie launch party. So in the next vlog, I'm gonna show you guys like all my pixie products that I created. I'm super excited. If you guys watch my main channel video about it, then you'll know more about it or if you follow me on Instagram. But we're really excited to get there and we have some friends we're meeting up with. So it's gonna be really, really fun. Then we go home. All right, bye. bye.